let's get into uh the homegirl Drew Barrymore. You know, is she or is she not? What's is scab? Is that the, the right term? A scab? Is she a scab? I don't know. Now, this is coming from Deadline. This come from Deadline. Said the Drew Barrymore show hit with pickets as audience members thrown out for wearing WGA badges amid writer strike. For those who don't know, this is uh the day 133 of, of the writer strike, day 60 of the of the actor strike. So just I'm just throwing that out there, you know. Just throwing that out there. And um it says that members of the strike, uh, members of the writers guild gathered outside CBS broadcast center uh early Monday morning to protest the restart of the Drew Barrymore show and to discourage the daytime talk host and her guests from crossing their picket line. Mm. It didn't work entirely, and what played out like cat mouse between picketers and the show, Barrymore slipped in undetected to tape a pair of episodes with in-studio audiences at 11 and 1 p.m., as did her guests. There had to be there had been suggestions that guests included Oprah Winfrey, Brooke Shields, but Deadline understands that this is correct. So like I said, this is coming from Deadline. This is wild to me. This is wild to me. One audience member said that the guests at the first taping were on air regulars from the CBS mornings. Two two college students with tickets to the taping never got that far. They told Deadline they were kicked out when security officers spotted them wearing WGA strike buttons. We even offered to take them off. Cassidy Carter said as she stood outside CBS minutes after being evicted. Her friend Dominic Terezic said a security officer told them we've already talked to somebody above us. You're out. So if they were seen wearing the WGA uh, picket uh strike buttons you weren't getting it wasn't getting that carter said that she and turizic arrived having no clue that a strike is in progress and that the guild is picking and bear more until they saw marches and accepted lapel buttons to wear on the taping once inside they signed filming waivers and were waiting to be seated when according to turizic they were verbally assaulted by security officers and laid out now i don't know maybe the security officers thought that they were part of the you know the strikers or whatever and from this picture <laughs> let me show you because they might be with they might be on some on some shit they might be lying they might be lying from this picture right here let me blow this up what that look like look like they didn't just have lapels on they got the whole get up writers guild on strike they got the whole get up, but then saying that they didn't know, they didn't know that it was. Come on, y'all getting kicked out. Come on, you you know y'all got to. If if she down, if she not down with the strike, or she trying to do what she got to do to to keep her shit going, y'all not finna come in the, up up in there causing havoc, mischief and shit. Y'all miscreants, get up out of here. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing. But come on, y'all can't be lying like that. Say, so, oh, we didn't know. Y'all got the full get up on. Where y'all get these shirts from? If y'all didn't know, where y'all get the shirts? I can understand them handing you a pen. Hey, wear this pen. Y'all got the shirts on. Buddy even got a jacket over. You know what I mean? Like he even got the jacket over the aisle. Come on, man. Don't lie like that. Don't lie like that. Don't lie like that. It says, uh, it's really cute that Drew Barrymore claims that she cares about her fans and wants her fans to show up for the show, Terizic said, and then we get kicked out for supporting what is right. Like I said, seemed like they knew what was, oh, we didn't know until we got up there. But now it's, you cl claim you care about the fans and want to, you know, this, the, y'all new kids is wild to me, man. Y'all new kids is wild to me. But, um, how, how do you, I, I'm really, I really don't know what to feel about about this because she supposed from my understanding she is she stands with the the strike but then she is doing the show without writers i i don't get i i myself don't understand what's the rules of the strike how it works i don't understand i'm you know what i'm saying i'm not i i don't i'm i'm not a guild member so i don't understand how the rules go but that would be kind of shady to me that you know you're not supposed to be filming or doing nothing like that, but you're trying, but you're doing something for CBS, but you're bringing your show back, even though we it's a strike going on. So yeah, I would personally, if if I'm down with the strike, if I'm if I'm a picketer, 
I'd be like, yeah, you crossing lines, cuz. What are you doing, Drew? Drew, what you doing? We not, you supposed to be standing in solidarity with us, cuz. Why are you on the, what you doing? Like, I would, I would be mad about that shit. I would be heated. And I would probably send a team of, of, of uh protesters and picketers down there and in front of the CBS building to let let you know how mad you know what I'm saying how mad we are. It's crazy. It says in the Instagram post Sunday, Barrymore, whose services as host fall under a different SAG Afro contract that is still ongoing, explained why she chose to return for a new season of her talk show amid the two strikes. So okay, more reading. I didn't so she she can do her show it seems because it falls under a different contract but what do you know drew barrymore as an actor right so you would think that she would at least try her best to stand in solidarity you would think i don't know so they're saying that's why it explained for her to uh, to choose to return for a new season of her talk show amid the two strikes the so-called television the so-called network television code covers sag afro member services on daytime late night and game shows at, and some primetime specials so there is a different seems like there's a different contract for daytime late night and game shows and some primetime specials so i guess game shows can still go daytime which i guess that would include like soaps good morning america things of that nature and game shows so steve Harvey can still get out here and <laughs> yep yeah, 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 still do his thing you know what i'm saying horrible i know horrible horrible but he could still get out here and do his thing. Um, but yeah, they said around 12 30 p.m., several dozen people who had attended the first taping streamed out of the building. It was great. Tara McGuthrie, a retired parent teacher coordinator with New York City Public Schools, told Deadline, but she also having misgivings. I belong to a union, so I felt like I was crossing a line, but I also drove three hours to be here. Guthrie said the 70% of the first taping was Drew Barrymore chatting spontaneously with her CBS Mornings guest. Uh, Barrymore did not discuss the strike. Guthrie and other departing audience members uh, said. So, seemed like she didn't address the strike. Seemed like the usual cast of characters, I guess, the CBS Mornings guests that normally are on her show, I guess, are her prime people that she's having and the audience. The audience isn't part of a strike, but I get where Terry Guthrie is coming from with him being part of the public, you know, New York public school. They got a union as a teacher, him saying he felt a little dirty for showing up. But I don't know. This this is just confusing, man. I'm just ready for the strikes to be over so we can get back to, to entertainment because this is this is getting crazy. I don't I, I hope we're getting closer. You know, I really do. I really hope we're getting closer to to finishing this up and everybody gets what they deserve because i do think everybody should get what they deserve but come on uh studios come on writers come on actors y'all need to get to the table sit down and hash this shit out hash this shit out so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about these writer strikes or better yet y'all let me know what y'all think about drew barrymore and is she is she crossing the picket line is she or is she crossing the picket line let your homie know.